Fresh Water for the Chipmunks by Thomas Holliday, Boston. Chapter 1. What is Water? Water is a chemical compound created of oxygen and hydrogen atoms. It can be changed into liquid, vapor, and solid states, namely liquid, steam, and ice. Scientists believe that the hydrogen used to make water was formed in the original Big Bang of the universe 10 to 20 billion years ago. When stars were formed, that hydrogen was fused into helium, which could create oxygen. The stars exploded, water was created as a gas, and sent out into space. Comets are frozen balls of gas and dust. When they collide with a planet, they leave behind water, which is changed from a gas or ice into liquid. This theory provides the basis for the concept that our early hot planet was seeded from space by comets. Then, fortunately, the atmosphere of the Earth was strong enough to keep the water. Perhaps some water on Earth was also created by volcanic eruption, sending forth hot water vapor in the form of steam. Whatever the source of water, most scientists feel that the existing supply on Earth is finite and can't be replenished. It's unlikely we will be impacted with large comets without all life being destroyed. This resident water on Earth has a water cycle. It evaporates from oceans, leaving the salt of the ocean behind. That fresh water then rains and runs off the land back into the oceans. Water covers 71% of the Earth's surface. Of this, 96% is in the oceans. About 2% is in groundwater, 2% in ice, and the remainder in the air. Only 2.5% is fresh water, and almost 99% of that is in ice or underground, not easily available to animals. Less than 0.3% is in rivers and lakes in the atmosphere. A tiny bit more is inside plants and the bodies of humans and other animals. Here's another interesting fact. About 70% of the water used by humans goes to agriculture, including raising animals eaten by humans. Wildlife doesn't have much left to drink, does it? 